Hi there! It's not secret that Cypress querying commands like SciGet, SciContain, SciFind yield a jQuery object. What many people don't realize is that you can use jQuery methods on that yielded object to do a variety of actions, especially to transform the page. One of the things that people ask you is if I get an element and, for example, it's not working out, can I remove it from the page using Cypress test? Of course. That's what jQuery is for. So let's say in this case you have this element with a name, we're interested Honda Civic, and then some additional information like we picked the number of stars. And we are not interested in this element, we want to remove it. How can we do it? Well, we can find it using the class. So that picked returns that element. And then this is a jQuery object. So we can invoke using sign invoke command remove, which is a jQuery method on the object yielded by SciGet command. And boom, it's gone. And you can see that we found it correctly. It's highlighted in the dump snapshot. And then we invoke remove and it's no longer there. And we can confirm that it's gone by looking at the text of the make element that remains because we only removed this one. Now, first I want to show the way not to do it. So find make element by ID. And now I'm going to show something that's not working. Should have text on the civic. Now this is not working because the element text is surrounded by a few new line and white space characters. Now we don't control them. So I don't want to add new line characters into my expected text. So what do we do instead? Well, again, this yields jQuery object. We can invoke method text. Now, what does this yield? Why don't we open the DevTools and click on the invoke? And it shows this is the element, right? Yielded by the previous command. This was our subject and we called invoke text and this is what it yields. Notice there is a little bit of white space around the Honda Civic text and we can trim it by invoking trim because now our subject is a string and string has a method trim. So now we can invoke trim and we should get just the text and we can inspect it. Okay, so this yields a string and we're walking trim and now notice we're getting just the text we're looking for. So now we can say should equal under civic. Perfect. So this is how you can take advantage of powerful jQuery API on the objects yielded by the Cypress querying commands.